great right here. I've been waiting about three weeks for this. This is our portable airbrush kit. Looks like that box took a little bit of a hit. But that's okay because as long as it protects what's inside, that's all that matters, and it did. Okay, so this is our airbrush kit, right? It's the TM80S. You can find this on our website at www.maskworks.com. Um, you can read through all of this information uh, when you order one. Um, that's pretty much what that's for, just to kind of help guide you through operation and how to set it all up and everything. Um, it's got information. Oops, sorry, it's got information on the. Uh, it's got information on the outside of it as well. So let's go ahead and peel that off, just because. Now, I've already ordered one of these. I actually let one of the makeup artists out at Field of Screams here in Nixon, Missouri, not too far from here. I had bought one of these, a smaller, a smaller combo unit. I bought one of these a while back at the beginning of um, the Halloween season, the beginning of October, and I let them use it and try to run it through and and find out if it's something that uh, is useful for them, you know, something like that. Now I'm going to show you this just first off. Right, this is the this is the pump. This is the airbrush pump. It's got an on-off. Uh, I will show you. There's all the parts are inside here, so we're gonna we're just kind of gonna do a uh, rough unboxing here. But uh, this little guy goes under underneath here. Oops. This guy goes underneath here. That's in the top of the box with the airbrush. Right. And with that, there's there's a little valve there, and that makes it so that it's. Uh, now a push button. Push that down and you get airflow constantly. So it's a dual action airbrush is what it is. It's not one that you just you just push the button or pull back on and you get a constant flow of uh, paint when you adjust it somewhere else. Um, this is also an adjusting valve for the amount of air you have coming into it. It's a regulator is what it is, right? Because this thing obviously doesn't have one. Now, the simplest way to hook one of these up is to hook it right in the top. Now, there's you probably don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a little rubber o-ring inside there okay um, when you push down I don't know if you can see that move or not but when you push down on the on the uh, on the uh, handle up here that little valve pushes down so what that does is it causes this pump to instead of turning it on I'll tighten this down real quick okay so it's, there now all that did was it reached 20 PSI, the pump reached 20 PSI and it shuts off. So this has got a cover on the top, a little plastic cover. That's kind of handy. Um, see, it, it just, it calls for, it calls for air and power when you need it. And that's it. Uh, it's rechargeable. There's the port right there. Um, here, let's set this right here. We're going to play around with this thing for a minute. I'm going to do just a basic unboxing right now. Uh, I'll do more tutorials and things on how to bust it apart and uh, clean it and all of that good stuff. But this is this is everything that you get in that box, believe it or not. This is this is the, the deluxe kit is what it is. I got the deluxe kit, which at maskworks.com you can find uh, here, I'll show you. Right? This is what it looks like on my phone. So we get it to focus. Okay, so uh, this is on this is obviously an Android phone, so uh, you can scroll down through and find our main catalog down below and I'll do that I'll show you sorry internet's a little slow out here there we go so you can scroll down and you can get to right here our catalog okay so we've got everything in there now what we're looking for is airbrush tools it's this kit right here you can get it in black or you can get it in red right now your options are down here okay you have option A, A1, B, B1 and the variations of the uh, a1, B1, C1, D1, those are those are variations in uh, in black. See, now you can also scroll through each picture. So look at the pictures, and whatever you whatever you see in that picture is what you're going to get as far as the kit. Now this is the one I got right here, okay? Because I got it in red. All right, I got that one in red. I, you can't really see it very well; it's too blown out. But uh, there there's two other cups in there, right? That attach to the top. This is the this is the default cup that comes with it. And you have this large, larger cup as well. Uh, they have lids for them both. 
which I think is pretty handy, right? Uh, anyway, so you'll want to make sure that whatever you're seeing in the picture is, uh, those are just kind of description pictures, really, but whatever you see in the picture, that's what you're going to get. Okay, so anyway, so you just, I'll, you guys can run through that and just make sure you're aware of that, that whatever you see in the picture is, is what you're going to order. So they're not named, they're just A through D with a variation of uh, B1 or A1 through D1. Okay, so let's let's take a look at this thing, right? I'm pretty excited about this. I can be really handy with one of these things. Okay. Okay, now let's let's do this first, the, the charging cable. Right, so you take that out. It's you know it's it's just USB. Okay, it's USB cable. It's probably about three feet long. But you just you plug it right into here. Okay, and then this part, this end, plugs in to it. You just, you're gonna need to have a, a, a USB charger. Now what you're gonna see is, you're gonna see there's a light right there, okay? On this, uh, on the end of that cord. Because there's no, there's nothing to indicate your charge on this thing. So you'll notice that the power's starting to decrease as you get close to the end of it. Although you can run for really long time I think you can run for like 45 minutes continuously just doing that I think it'll let you run for 45 minutes I don't know if it's gonna keep the same exact uh, working pressure the entire time it may it may go down but it's I'm sure it's got lithium batteries inside lithium batteries tend to just drop out at the end right so anyway so you have this you have this little red light okay and then when it's done it'll be green okay that's and that's how you know it's charged so I'm gonna take that off there yeah see Right there when it's plugged in when it's not calling for power right at the end of at the end of this thing it's green okay when it's sending power it's red all right so simple as that okay now this is my first time opening up one of these the last one i bought was uh, it didn't have these extra cups it didn't have this cleaning kit all it had was it had a cord or sorry it had a hose it had the charging cord um, it had it had both of these and then it had the one cup right and then of course it had the little valve that connects to here and uh, that was it that was all so everything else that was underneath this is all part of the more deluxe kit that comes with everything so you got right it's just it's just a simple gravity feed cup is all it is, right? Got a little lid on it. I sourced these from a company in China. And uh, at, at one point when we can order enough of these uh, and have a bunch in stock and not have to, right now they're drop shipping them for us. So you order one off the website and you'll get it within two to three weeks. However, it could take up to a month. It just depends. It depends on the time of year too, I think. But I got, I got mine in, uh, see I ordered it on the 26th. And I got it today on the 14th, so it's that many days. So that's, what is that, 19 days? So it wasn't even 20 days. So you, anyway, you, so you have, you, you have these cups that go on there, right? Uh, you can see you may, you, you know, you can see the inside of it. It's just a cup, right? It's an airbrush cup. Anyway, so you get the cup that goes on here, okay? You get the bigger cup. That's it. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to go too tight because you don't want to, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to pop your threads or anything or end up cracking anything or whatever. So just, you know, just go down until it seats down. Right? These come with lids also. And then you've got this other size here. But there it is. That holds a lot of paint. So anyway, this, this right here. It is. So this is this is just a this is just a regulator to allow air through or not. You can let a little tiny bit through, or you can let it all through, right? So you can adjust everything here. So you just you just need to adjust based on what your needs are. So anyway, this is this is very useful right here. Now. I will say this, that uh, I've got a little bit of airbrush experience, um, not a lot, mostly, not, I mean just a little bit of detail work, um, a lot of 
base, basing out masks, things like that, that's easy. Uh, but as far as any of the any of the really refined skills that people have using an airbrush like that, um, I'm going to be learning that kind of thing. All right? That's what this channel's for. I'm learning. You guys are learning. We're going to learn together. All right? So, there's all your little cleaning brushes. Okay, for when you pull it apart, and kind of scrape things out, and, you know, just clean things up. That's what those are for. This little guy here. Obviously, for getting into, you probably can't even see the tip of that very well. Yeah, that's very tiny. Um, you could definitely clean the tip out of that thing if you if your needle wasn't, you know, if you pulled your needle out and everything. You could clean all that up really well with something like that. And then you've got you got a little wrench, right? You got a little wrench that comes with it. You got your little dropper here, right, for adding things into the cup. And you can transfer from that into there, whatever whatever you're transferring liquid. You can transfer your paint from here to here or cleaner or whatever. Right? That's, that's what that's for. Okay. okay. Now this hose is great. Okay. This hose I think is because you could you could airbrush like this. It's it seems it seems kind of strange, but actually you know holding it like this, the other the other airbrush that I had, I tested it out a little bit, but I put I put the hose on it. And then I just kind of held onto this in my hand. I put it in my pocket just to see what it felt like and see if it got really hot. Um, this connection right here, uh, this end, this metal end, will get pretty warm. Uh, not enough to melt anything, but it'll get pretty warm from just air passing through it. You know, you're going to get some heat created right here. So just be aware of that. Uh, I think that having having that hose you know, where, you, where your hand isn't having to touch that thing, although it may not be, it may not be that bad. I don't know. I have yet to try it out. I have yet to really try it out and use one of these things for any length of time. Uh, I want to do some projects, airbrushing projects. Uh, I'm going to look some stuff up on YouTube and see uh, what I can find, what I can do. Uh, maybe you guys can suggest anything. You know, if you guys want to, if there's anything you guys want to learn how to do, um, if I know how to do it, let's, we can talk about it. If I don't know how to do it, then I like to learn. I would like to learn. Okay, so. Now, keeping in mind, when you take this off, oh, you want to make sure that's off, otherwise it'll go. You take this off, and this is this is just a free-spinning nut on the end of that thing. Okay, this right here is just a free-spinning nut. Okay, uh, but this right here will. You want to make sure that that stays on tight as well. So, the hose. I like the hose. I really do. Okay, see, the hose has got the hose has got a little rubber O-ring in there too. A little rubber gasket is what it is. Whoops. And it goes on there, and you can feel it make contact, and it, it squishes down and makes a good seal. And then the rest of this goes on here. Now this right here, there's an adapter on the end of this hose. Okay, that's a female end, and this has got a male and a male, because you need to take these two females and match them together. So they give you this adapter in there, which is, which I think is great. Put all this together. Get everything seated down back on it it pressured up it took a little bit longer than if it was just the airbrush on there because it's got to fill this this hose up with air so but it didn't take that long right okay now let's open this up so this this right here is great I'm gonna put this in my pocket okay and then see it's just going like crazy now you're gonna you're gonna get about about 20 psi okay this thing will shut off at 20 psi that's a shut off point so the working pressure will be around around 20 psi the capability of this pump is about 28 to 32 some of the paperwork in this does talk about it being 32 psi right there highest 32 psi okay that's just the capability of the pump all right so Keep that in mind, your working pressure is gonna be 20 PSI, okay? And that's, I, now I have tried, I have tried uh, the Dreadworks paints that we have, right? That's uh, airbrush makeup is what it is. Uh, I've run that straight, just straight out of the bottle into this, and it runs through perfectly. 
no issues at all, no clogs, nothing. It just runs through great. Um, I can, I can uh, take this cap off and do really, really super fine lines with this thing. Uh, it's great. Um, you can adjust however much you want to come out of there. Uh, you know, being and we'll and we'll have another. We'll do another tutorial on uh, on kind of how to use the airbrush better. And I need to get some more paints in, and we'll we'll get that set up, and we'll we'll show how to operate this thing a little more in detail. But but this is the unit right here. Okay, so you have right here pushing down. I will talk about that. Pushing down, you've got airflow. Okay, and then pulling back. That's when your paint starts to flow. Okay, so you want to always keep it pressed down, and then have your airflow control your airflow this way. That's a little bit. That's full open. So adjust the range right there but see this thing runs it runs and it's solid it's really well built this I, I did try some nightshades paints right if any of you are familiar with that th that's what I used to paint the Michael Myers masks that's what I used to do the uh, surface paint on the shock the uh, shock monster mask that I just did the rehairing video on <coughs> I did nightshades. I used nightshades on him. Um, it's a latex paint, latex mask paint. I, I love it. It's good stuff. Uh, however, I tried it straight out of the bottle, and 20 psi didn't seem to want to push that out very well. It was spitting and sputtering, and, and it just was not working. So diluting that down, uh, I need to do some tests on that as well. Uh, I can make that as that part of the uh, the next tutorial I do on uh, kind of how to operate this thing. How to break it down, how it functions, um, how to spray with it, and to show you examples of what that looks like. But in the meantime, uh, this is a great unit right here. It really is. This this unit retails at maskworks.com. This particular unit that I bought, it retails for $97.49. Right, if I can get focus, there we go. $97.49. Okay. Now right now these are drop shipped from China. Okay, that's exactly how I got mine. Had them send it directly to me. But they will drop ship directly to all of my customers uh, until I can get to a point where I can order these in bulk. And when I do, this is another exciting thing about it is they'll actually throw in uh, laser engraving of my uh, company logo on here. You're going to have an official Maskworks airbrush kit. And I am thrilled about it. I really am. So let's go ahead and set this guy right here and... This is it. This is the unit. I think it's great. And this came charged too, so it came ready to use. These are going to be Maskworks branded airbrush kits. I'm excited. I'm excited to have them. I'm glad I found them. I think you guys will like them too. I will keep you guys posted on the results of how well this worked out of field of screen. Whether or not something like this was useful, um, they do a lot of airbrush makeup. Uh, I don't know if something like this would hold up for them as the night goes on. Maybe it would. I don't know. Um, I'll keep you guys posted on the results of all of that. So, if you guys like, go check it out on maskworks.com. Right? Send her airbrush supplies. Alright? Get one. Get one. Check it out. Get one. It, it'll take a few weeks. Uh, a couple of weeks to a few weeks. The first one I got took about, took about 14 days. Uh, this one took 19 days guys want to pick one of these up this is a solid airbrush I really like this thing okay, it does really well I'll show you how well it paints on in the next tutorial we'll do a tear down on it and you guys can you guys can take a look um, these airbrush fittings right here are uh, compatible with other airbrushes if you have an airbrush and you want to you want to add your airbrush to this you can no big deal at all you got a good range of motion with this thing all right it's a great hose um, I actually have a six foot hose that I let them use out of field of screens with that other kit, it worked just fine. I, I hooked it up to that thing just to see if it would if it would take too long to shut off before you know having to fill up that hose or if it would have an issue with you know being too low of pressure, you know having to run through that hose or what. And it didn't it didn't struggle at all. It was great. So even a six foot hose like this will work. That's it, guys. I just wanted to show you this kit, what it looked like. Go to maskworks.com. Check this out. It's really, really worth it. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.